So, uh, how's everybody doing this morning? All right, all right. I was a little worried about the morning session uh, because, you know, people staying up, not sleeping, and all those kinds of things, but y'all seem to be clocking pretty well. That's good, 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 good. But uh, no? Oh, come on. All right. All right, we're going to bring you along, all right? Join on, join in, join in. I want to, I want to give, get, let's thank this worship team. Let, That was good stuff. And then it's faith story. I mean, uh, that, like, that, just good stuff this morning. I, 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 y'all don't even really need me this morning. It's all, it's all good. So let's, uh, let's move ahead in our journey together uh, in this scripture text. And uh, this morning, uh, I want to move to the next phase of it, this idea of take nothing. So so we, we talked a little bit about power and authority, right? That Jesus just drops this power and authority on the disciples, right? They didn't ask for it, right? They weren't qualified, but they got it, right? And then he tells them what it's for, right? Uh, and last night we talked about kind of evil and injustice and uh, what those things represented, but we had the power and authority, right, to work against those things, right, in the name of Jesus, right? So, so that, should get, that should get you riled up, right? Like, I got this, I, this power and authority, right? Because God just decided, right? And, and, and I, I, we can cast out evil and injustice, and we made a list of things, and I hope you had good conversations around those things. But then, but then, but then Jesus drops a little bomb here. I like to call it a Jesus bomb. He gets them all excited about this thing right? And then they're ready to go, right? Like, some of y'all might be ready to go now, right? Like, like yeah, let's, let's, let's work this thing out. And then Jesus says this, take nothing for your journey. No staff, no bag, no bread, no money. Don't even take an extra shirt. Like, no phone. And you look exactly, right? Because you, if you're like, I don't know how you read the Bible, but this little thing makes me go, what, dude, what are you talking about? Right? Imagine the disciples in that space and Jesus like, all right, y'all going out of here, going to the neighborhoods, going to your schools, go wherever you need to go, right? And start healing and all these kinds of things, but don't take nothing with you. Leave your phones, Right? Don't take no extra bags, right? No, like, like, no money. Like, what, what are you talking about, bro? Right? It would have been what came out of my mouth. Like, mm -hmm. no, mm -mm. I'm out. Like, are you kidding me? What was Jesus saying to the disciples in this moment when he told them, don't take anything for your journey? I'd like to think, in the next few moments, let's talk through this, because uh, in your small groups after, I want you to dive into this a little bit. I think this was an identity-shaping moment for the disciples. Like, like I want you to go, I've, I, I, I've given you this power, I've given you this authority, you go out and do this thing, and it's going to happen, but I don't want you to take anything with you. Right. That f probably forced them to go, well, well, where's my security going to come from? How am I going to eat? Who's going to take care of me? Right? Like, who, what, what am I without my bag, my clothes, my phone, my money, my, like, the things that sustain? What, what am I then? Right? Becomes the question. And what are we without those things? It's the question on the table for this morning. What is the authentic you? What makes you you? If you're funny, what made you funny? Right? If you're quirky, why are you quirky? 
If you're loud, why are you loud? Come on, why not? Right. I'm with you, bro. Right? So if you're smart, why are you smart? Right? Like, like why are you you? I think this is a spiritual formation moment for the disciples. And this morning, I want us to think about that in our small groups. Like, here is the thing. No earthly substance, right, shapes, our, shapes us spiritually, right? There was this thing that Jesus was telling them to do that they got and they were commissioned or called or, or, or sent out, right, that had nothing to do with their clothes, their bag, their money, no extra shirts, nothing. And Jesus says, don't take any of that with you. I got you. Full spiritual attachment to Jesus, making them whole, right? Like, like, like this journey that we're on, right, that we uh, can uh, rely on Jesus for our daily needs, no food, like, like who's going to offer hospitality, like makes us lean into the community. No money, like I, I, I got a little commercial break here. No money. I don't know about y'all, right? I told you, I grew up in the hood, right? And uh, 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 no money was a part of life. So when I got through college, right, and it was time for me to get a job, no money, no sir. I'm keeping my money. Right? Right? I worked hard for this. My mom struggled. I got, some, I got some cash in my pocket. I'm keeping it. Right? And here is Jesus saying that money didn't make you who you are. I made you who you are. And how are you going to get in touch with the you that Jesus made you to be? That's the question on the table. That was the question on the table for me. Rolling through college and wanting money, like suffering and struggling with all of these economic things, and then Jesus going, that's not the stuff I want you to worry about. See, see, see. What if there's no crowd, right? What if you're not a part of the cool kids group, right? What if the cool kids group doesn't matter because it's got nothing to offer you? It's what you bring to the group that's important. You have to be the you God created you to be in this world. In order to use this power well, Jesus needs us to be in touch with how God has created us. The difference, the uniqueness, the wonderful nature in which the scripture says that we were fearfully and wonderfully made. That these, these, this idea of following Jesus and thing, like things will be added to us isn't talking about like clothes and houses and money. It's talking about some spiritual depth to our life. It's talking about some understanding of who we are. It's talking about some strength. It's talking about how we learn to be honest. It's talking about how we learn to support our friends. It's talking about how we learn to love well. These things will be added to us. See, we, we, we link power, right? This is going back with resource, right? And our spiritual formation, the way, we, the way many times we, 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 we qualify that is through these outfit, outward manifestations of like uh, accumulating earthly things, right? You look like you're, you're spiritually mature because you take care of your room. Or you do all of your homework, or you own a house, or you've saved some money. You look spiritually mature. 
may not be the case, right? The outward manifestations are manifestations of doing our work internally. The internal spiritual process. The process is the key, right? Not the thing. So I had to learn this, right? So, so I thought, right, the fact that this company would choose me, right, uh, for this job, that that was the key. Now I'm the man, right? I got this job. I got some money, right? Right? Uh, I want to marry my sweetheart, right? Like, I'm going to propose to this girl, right? I got this ring. I'm the man. I'm good. The job didn't do that. The position didn't shape me. The position came because God shaped me in a certain way. And somehow was able to lean into that. And God did something. And the woman that married me saw something. And that was the thing she was attracted to, not my job. Leaders of color, listen in. The pressure for you to assimilate and getting a position as a leader of color like can be an incredible thing. But it's not the thing. Because you are accepted by a certain community, doesn't, that isn't the thing that makes you you. What makes you you, leader of color, what makes you you, person of color, is the stuff God has created you to be out of your own cultural connection points. See, I like being a black preacher now, right? I love it. Because that's who God has shaped me to be. And that's what, that's the gift he's given me to give to the world. Right? So, so when I was in seminary, right, and they had preaching classes, and they kept telling me to stand, you know, at the pulpit like this thing here, right, and, uh, uh, and write out my sermons word for word, right, and don't be so loud, and don't use your hands, right, and uh, uh, I just didn't do very well in that class. It was, it was a cultural, I'm loud at the audience because that's who I am. And that's okay. If you are quiet at the audience, that's cool too. But Leroy Barber ain't quiet. Get in touch with the you God has created you to be. And to my folks of color in the room, we don't need your assimilated self. We need the you that God created you to be in the culture you were created because it enhances the room. <laughs> Ladies in the room, we don't need you to lead like men. You lead like women. Lead in how you want to lead. We need you to lead anyway. Men have messed this thing up. Here is the thing. And this sermon is probably about two hours long. I got to cut it. All right, so. Here is the thing. Here's, a, here's an example of how we get off kilter. Anybody hear the story of the, uh, the founder of Amazon having a divorce with his wife? Yeah. Right? Big thing, right? So it's all over social media. Everybody's the founder of Amazon, right? Big bucks, right? What was the big story in that? Who, exactly, right? Who's going to get what and how much? You didn't hear anything about a broken relationship between two people. The important piece 
that needed to be examined was why are we like breaking up? What is it that I can't support you as a husband and we can't get along as a couple anymore? What? That's the issue, not how much money we're each going to get out of this. You see the difference? Like, like that is what we have become and that's what we have to resist as followers of Jesus. Here's a question I want you to walk away with to your group. What do you have to leave behind? What is the nothing that you can't take with you? God says, I want you in this place, but take, don't take that. What do you got to lay down? What do you have to put aside that doesn't represent who God has created you to be? What do you do just for the crowd, just because I want to fit in, or just because I want to look a certain way, or just because I want to be, you know, I'm scared to be out there by myself. What do you need to leave? Take nothing. Take nothing that God didn't create you to be or give. No food. No money, no shirt, right? no cool saying that you don't really want to say. Buy the phone that you want to buy, right? Speak the things that God has given you to speak. Be you. Let God give you what you need because God, over time, has provided for the folks that just go out a little further into this, into this space. Right? This song we just sang, Spirit, lead me right? into these places that I'm not sure about. Uh, I don't know about, they asked me to do this job. They asked me to take this position. They asked me to speak for the students. They, whatever that might be, when you accept those things, make sure you take you to those places. Because God will bring water from rocks if it needs to. God will bring manna from heaven if it's needed. God, God, like, like God leads by pillars of fire at nighttime if that's what's necessary, right? God supplies these things. God even says, when your mother or your father forsake you, God says, I will take you up, right? That's this identity piece. I got you, God says. Even if your parents forsake you, I got you. Seek me and you will find me, says the Lord, if you seek me with your whole heart, right? You will find that thing, right? What you're looking for and what do you have to leave behind? Take nothing. God bless.